G'day guys, we've got another 79 series here that we just finished a build on. This one is for Marcus from Queensland. It's got some great accessories, it's got a camper on the back, and it's come together really nicely. I'll show you through some of the gear we've fitted. So up the front, we started with the ARB large tube bar. This has been color coded in the silver to match the factory paintwork. We've got the worn VR Evo 12,000 pound winch fitted up in there, and we've got a pair of the Ultravision 140 Max driving lights. Underneath, we've got the ARB rated recovery point, and we've got the radiator protection bar as well to give Marcus the ultimate protection when he's off-road. Up on the bar, we've got the uh, GME UHF. Marcus has got a combo kit, so we've got the small one for daily driving to get under car parks and into his garage, and then he's got the tall one which he can chuck on when he goes off-road. Moving around to the side, we've got the ARB Summit side rail and step. These have been color coded to fit up nicely with the bar. And we've got our Linex tread plate coating, which is a neat finish. It's really durable and it looks really tidy. We've got a pair of the next gen clear view mirrors. These are the electric version. So they've got internal uh, adjustment from inside the cabin to a move them around. And they also slide out as well. So if you're towing, you've got that extra vision out the side. We've got a Safari Armax snorkel which is the most common snorkel we do on most of our builds. Um, on the back here, we've got a package from the boys down at Jackson's Carry Me Camper. We've got a, an alloy tray. We've got a tie pot up the front to house the spares. And then we've got the Jackson's Carry Me Camper. So if you've got any questions about that tray and canopy package, head down and see Stuart and the boys from Jackson's Carry Me Camper. Moving around the back, we've got the Mark's full drive heavy duty tow bar. These are a high clearance tow bar. They're a heavy duty tow bar and they've got inbuilt recovery points. And they also have the facility um, to take the factory wiring loom, which are mounted up there with the factory trailer plug. <clears throat> Underneath at the back, we've got the Brown Davis 185 litre long range tank. This works with the coils or with the leaf springs. It's pretty, pretty good, compatible with both. We've got the J-Max coil conversion in the rear. Got, which includes the track corrected diff housing, converts the rear to coils. We've got airbags in the back. We've got um, a brake upgrade, including the brake booster and the braided lines. We've got the torque and exhaust system, which is part of the coil conversion to make it fit with the coils. This one is a 4.2 ton GVM and is a two inch suspension lift, which is completely legal with the 33 inch tires. Marcus has the ROH hammer wheels and the Mickey Thompson Baja Boss all-terrain tyres, which are one of our favourite tyres. They're really good off-road, but they're still nice and quiet on-road. In the front toolbox here, we've got a compressor system. So hidden up in there, there's the ARB twin compressor with a tank. We've got a remote outlet and a switch. And then we've also got the Airbag Man onboard air control. So these paddles allow us to pump the airbags up and down without the use of a manual valve. There's then a water tap here, which is used for his water tank underneath the tray. Rightio, let's move inside. So inside this one, we started by stripping the full interior and we've done a full sound deadening package, which covers the roof, the back wall, the floor and the doors. That really helps to insulate the cabin, keeps it cool in summer, keeps it warm in winter, gets rid of a bit of road noise and it does also improve the output from the stereo. We've fitted up the Alpine nine inch head unit. That's got the inbuilt hammer mapping. It's got a reverse camera on the rear. It's got street navigation. And then obviously our stereo with Apple CarPlay and Android audio. We've got the Alpine Type R series speakers in the door. They've been fitted up into the cruiser consoles speaker pods um, to give us a nice, nice good bit of sound package. So in here, we've got the roof console from cruiser consoles, bit of storage up the top, uh, interior light at the back and then we've got a pair of map lights up the front to match with that we've got the cruiser console center console so plenty of storage we've got the coin tray a couple of cup holders more storage up the front power outlets these are really a neat package and obviously get a nice soft armrest on top as well and then we've got a pair of the recaro seats these are the expert l seats so they've got nice high bolsters to give you extra support when you're in the vehicle and we've got air lumbar support in the back of the seat as well. In the dash here, we've got the Red Arc Tow Pro, the electric brake controller, which has been wired up to the tow bar with the genuine Toyota wiring harness. We've got the GME XRS UHF, 
which is paired up with the UHF antenna up on the bull bar. Around this side, we've got our Clearview mirror controls as well. I'll pop the bonnet and I'll show you what we've got in there. As you can see, we've got a pair of bonnet gas struts just to make life a bit easier when lifting the bonnet. You don't have to lift the, the big heavy weight of the bonnet. Up the front here, we've got a Direction Plus pre-filter kit. Give us a little bit of adder protection in case on the remote travels Marcus gets any bad fuel. Underneath there, there's a catch can, the Provent 200. The J-Max brake booster as part of the coil conversion kit. We've got the ARB driveline breathers. This covers front and rear diffs. Also does the transfer case and the gearbox as well. We've got the SRW screens, which includes the intercooler screen, just to stop any rocks and uh, leaves and stuff like that coming through and damaging the intercooler. And we've also got a pair of screens up the front, which go behind the grill. Um, to protect the radiator as well. That's pretty much it for this build. Um, we do have the awning on this side as part of the camper, so that can be pulled out and used by itself, or it can be used in conjunction with the camper. Um, we've got the alpha shocks, I didn't mention that. So with this J-Max coil conversion, Marcus has gone with the alpha shocks, which is a premium remote res shock, adjustable, um, and obviously two inch lift in the front to match the rear as well. So I reckon that's about all for this build. Marcus, thanks for choosing Jackson's 4x4. It's been a pleasure to work with you. We can't wait to get this car shipped up to Queensland so you can take delivery, get out there and enjoy it. Guys, if you like what you've seen, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn the notifications on. We'll see you on the next one.